Deciding on home ownership is a big step and the list of factors to consider can be lengthy. But the most important factor is your financial picture. Joining us now is Frankie Lagrateria, financial advisor at Payne Capital Management. Frankie, so thank you so much for taking the time. Great to have you. So your credit score is very important, of course. We all know that when it comes to your own financial picture. How does your credit affect or impact your buying power when purchasing a home? Well, firstly, JD, thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting to be on. Uh, but let's just break down what a credit score is, right? You are just taking, you know, a calculation of, you know, the likelihood that you're going to pay your bills back on time. It ranges from 300 at a low to 850 at a high. And basically, it's telling the bank, it's telling the institution, it's telling the person, you know, how much they should lend you, if they're going to lend you anything, and at what rate. Uh, and of course, Frankie, since credit scores directly impact mortgage interest rates, it's pretty important to understand credit scoring models. So how is a credit score actually determined? So such a great question. Actually, you're going to have a few different credit scores depending on who's calculating it. So I think the best way to find out what your credit score is, is by going to one of the three credit bureaus. They are Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Take a look at their websites. You can create your login that way, and then that will help you calculate what your credit score is. And Frankie, what actually is considered a good or a poor, a bad credit score when considering to buy a home? JD, just as beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so is what is a good or bad credit score. So what does that mean? Basically, if uh, depending on who you're sitting in front of, that will determine it. But I think a good rule of thumb, something to keep in your pocket, is anything at 580 and above is considered fair, whereas anything at 670 and higher is considered good. All right. Uh, what is the lowest credit score that you think you, uh, one can have to buy a house? So I don't think there's an exact number. Like I said, you know, there's going to be, you know, depending on who you're sitting in front of, there's going to be different factors. The credit score is very important, but it's not the only factor. And that's so important to remember. Um, I think just as you're sitting down for a job interview and you have your portfolio ready, you want to do the same when you're sitting in front of someone you're asking for a loan. So you sit down, you have your, your income, your expenses, your net worth, you have all these other pages and all this other information to kind of back you up and to prove that you deserve this mortgage and that you're going to be able to pay it back. So what can anyone with less than good credit do to actually get a mortgage? The What you need to do before you make any big financial decision is run your projections. Whether you grab a financial advisor like myself or you sit down and you do it, you need to say, hey, what is my income? What are my expenses? That way I can de determine a budget. And then you're going to have to say, okay, what's my net worth? You know, you need to make sure that you're getting these documents together to kind of plan it out. I think, you know, most of us cannot just go ahead and sign up for a marathon, right, and go run it the next week. You need to plan for it. You need to sacrifice for it. You need to eat healthy. You need to stretch. You need to do all these things. You need to do the same thing for your financial life. So whether it's sitting down for a mortgage, whether you're looking to go to college and pay for college, you know, any big expense like that, you need to make sure that you're prepping for it and that you're getting all your plans together. I like the marathon comparison. And now what are some tips, Frankie, for increasing your own credit score if you are trying to buy a home? What can people do? So a few things that you can do is uh, you want to pay your bills on time. You're going to want to go ahead and pay down some of your debt. Um, don't have too many credit cards out. You know, you want to have the necessary, you know, not, not too much over uh, what's considered necessary. Um, I think really what's important is you need to sit down and look at your own goals, though, because maybe it's not worth it to just go ahead and buy a house right away. It may be worth it to rent for a year and work on that credit score, work on paying your bills on time, work on paying down that debt, um, work on going ahead and, and paying your utilities because you could actually use that to increase your, your credit score. And then uh, once you have a better credit score, go back to that mortgage. Now, let's say you found your Barbie dream home, you're ready to go, you know what home you want, do the same thing. You may have a higher rate though, but you can always refinance in a year after you start bringing that number back up. Frankie Lagrateria, so appreciate that you're able to take a few moments for us today here on the show. Financial advisor at Payne Capital Management. Frankie, thank you so much for taking the time. Have a good weekend. And coming up